I think laughter is a panacea. It's, it's, it is and it has always been a national medicine. I think people reached out for it in lockdown. It, it was a comedy rather than a tragedy that people first went for. Literally every bad thing that's happened to me in my life, uh, I have been able to get round it with humour. Laughing about the tragedy with someone who knows you and you can say the most off-colour things, darkest things, that has got me through. Like every time I speak to my mum, which is pretty much every day, she's the one who makes me laugh like the most. I have just got myself into trouble more times than I can tell you by laughing in very serious moments. I think it's helped a lot of people over the last kind of 12 months. Uh, and you know, the last year looking back on this, uh, it's been really hard. I think it's, it's a way of getting through life's difficulties and also when you make light of something often then it can just release the tension enough to breathe, to just have a moment's respite from it and that, that relief is much needed right now. There's a, there's a reason why this is called comic relief. And so I look forward to it enormously and I hope we all have a wonderful laugh and at the same time, you know, you know that if you donate something it does go to a very, very good cause. The last 12 months have been really difficult and uncertain for all of us. And the most vulnerable in our communities have been hit hardest. Together, for 35 years, we've seen how having a laugh can make a real difference. Laughter has the power to connect people, to bring us together. Red knows they will be different this year. We know that it's hard financially for so many people right now. But we'd love you to join us, even if it's just to share a laugh. If we raise some money along the way, then brilliant. We know that when times are tough, laughter can really make a difference. The funding from Comic Relief has been so appreciated. One day it was suggested that I come up and, uh, and see the shed. I was in a pretty dark place. Meeting organisations like Refugee Council enables me to understand the concept of mental health. That was the first time I have to talk to somebody about my ordeal, about the things I've been through. It has been such a great opportunity also for my confidence to actually lead an online comedy course with people with specific mental health issues such as anxiety, isolation, and it work, and it be beneficial to the people doing it and taking part. I originally came because I was quite interested in what I could add to what I do with my woodwork. Thinking to myself, I probably wouldn't fit in. You know all the things, feelings you get, but what I found instead was not just with work but it was a great sense of camaraderie and the welcome I got was just second to none. What this means for me when it's fully operational is a place to enjoy coming to where you can dispel loneliness, you can actually just have a cup of tea and a natter. That's, that's why this place is so important. <laughs> Your support will help us fund projects here in the UK and across the world, enabling them to continue with the vital work they do. Let's face it, we could all do with a laugh right now.